You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. I never thought of Wired Magazine as being a political magazine, but apparently they're all in for Hillary. They uh, tell something that's big fat why here in this uh, article. And we're going to go through this step by step. FBI Director James Comey has had a rough week. First, he was accused of rigging an election for Donald Trump when he revealed on um, the 28th that the FBI was investigating new emails from Hologram Hillary's campaign. Now he's accused of rigging it against Trump by revealing that none of those new emails contain anything that would result in criminal charges. That is bullshit. Well, that's, that is BS right from the start. Because those of us who are uh, awake realize that this was a trick, nothing more. But to hear the Trump campaign tell it, that week sounds even harder for Comey. I seem to imagine that the FBI directors spent the intervening days pouring over those hundreds of thousands of emails himself, one by one. You cannot review a 650,000 emails in eight days, Trump said Sunday in a speech in Michigan hours after Comey's latest update. You can't do it, folks. Hillary Clinton is guilty. Well, even she deserves fair trial. But here's the punchline. Fortunately for Comey's eyesight and for Clinton's presidential campaign, Trump is wrong. FBI can review hundreds of thousands of emails in a week using automated search and filtering tools rather than Flynn's absurd notion of Comey reading documents manually. That is bullshit. See, that is a lie. Then you have this dumbbell. Uh, this is not rocket science, says Jonathan Zadarsky, forensic expert who consulted for law enforcement and worked as a systems administrator. Eight days is more than enough time to pull this off in a responsible way. That is a lie. You, sir, may know plenty about computers, but you don't know, but you are a liar. Jonathan Zadarsky, I'm calling you a liar, and I'm calling you out. One former FBI at Forensics expert even tells Wired he has personally assessed far larger collections of data far faster. That he he can trash a data set like this in a much shorter amount of time. So this former agent who remain ask to remain anonymous to avoid any political backlash. We routinely collect data terabytes of data in a search. I know what was important before I left this guy's house. You see, uh, here's part of this is true. Yeah, they can scan through them at lightning speed. That part's true. Well, the part that this art article in uh, Wired Magazine isn't talking about is that computers don't understand intent. Anybody who's ever done a Google search knows this. So you can look for keywords and phrases in that time, sure. That part you can do. But you cannot understand the intent of the emails without going through them. I've already spent couple hours on that uh, one from one about the pedophile uh, farm there the Podesta pedophile farm in Virginia or you know whoever owns it I spent a long time going through that just one email and I still missed it missed something well, I, didn't, I uh, couldn't find any evidence that this woman had had children, but she had. All right. Anyway. Uh, 
the point here is, like I said, computers don't understand intent. I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Two terrorists are talking, and one terrorist says to the other, I see the... I see the truck. Another terrorist says, I need a tow. Now, does that mean... You see, if these are two pe people on the street, it could just mean that one's car is broken down and uh, the other person... Is uh, offering to get him a tow, a flag truck down, or whatever. But if these are two terrorists are talking. What it could mean is I need a tow missile, which is basically an anti-tank missile used uh, by some of the slime in the Middle East, courtesy of the U.S. government. So, there's no way in hell. I don't care, all you uh, computer hackers, you sit there and tell me you can go through them. Yeah, you can go through them. You can search for keyword phrases. But you can't find intent. It's not going to happen. Not in that amount of time. It takes human beings going through this. Because computers don't understand intent. They understand numbers. They're getting more and more sophisticated, but uh, more than half the time, I wind up, if I'm talking to one of these damn things on the phone, I wind up uh, swearing at it and hanging up, because I get frustrated with them. They're talking about different types of filtering. Filtering, well, like you said, you know, what were they looking for? Were they looking for keywords, key phrases? This is all wrong. So apparently, Wired uh, magazine is on is helping uh, hologram Hillary. I never would have thought of him. Now, if I got this from Time magazine. That'd be one thing, or the Clinton News Network. That's another. If you got it from them, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. They're there to get Hillary Clinton elected. That's what they do. They're there to get. Every liberal they can get in, put into office. Every single one of them. Real Question wrote, Cybersecurity Rob Graham in his blog isn't how the FBI managed to conclude its investigation in eight days. It's how it managed to take so long. That is incredible bullshit. Given those emails, computer geeks have the tools to make searching emails extremely easy. Given those emails and list of known accounts from Hillary and Associates and a list of other search terms that take me only a few hours to reduce the workload to, from 650,000 to only a couple of hundred, which a single person can read in less than a day. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at his blog, but in the meantime, no. Wired Magazine is lying about this? I mean, just do a Google search. Uh... Choose, choose some phrase. Um, 
choose your hometown. Let's say your uh, hometown is Schenectady. Now, now, let's say Lima, Ohio. Let's say Lima, New York. Okay? I'm looking for a plumber in Lima, New York. You won't believe the crap that comes up. And it's no different doing a Google search. You're still asking, searching through computers for the same thing. These people are liars. They are on Hillary's side. Unfortunately, they get to vote. And that's the way it is. Computers, I'm going to say this one more time, computers don't understand intent. It takes a human to read through the emails to understand intent. If they're not well written, it takes longer. I'm a writer on eBay, so don't ask me about writing. I uh, do ask me about it. Sorry. You sons of bitches are liars. Shame on you, Wired Magazine. I'm Artifacts of Mars.